Artificial Creeps presents weird, strange, and spooky tales and visuals generated entirely by artificial intelligence. It might contain frightening or disturbing content, and all artificial intelligence models may contain hidden vices learned from their training. Viewer discretion is advised. I see you, the monster said. I be sat bolt upright in bed, breathing heavily, her heart pounding in her chest. It was early morning and the sun hadn't come up yet. She looked around the room to make sure it was safe. And when she didn't see anything unusual, she let out a sigh of relief. She had been having this nightmare for as long as she could remember. It had started when she was very little and had gotten progressively worse ever since. She was 17 now and things were so bad that her friends and family didn't believe her when she told them about the nightmares. In the dream, she is walking down an empty street. It's very dark except for one house on the street that has a dim light and an upstairs window. She knows that this house is where the monster lies, but she has no choice but to go there. As she approaches the house, the front door slowly opens and it calls her name in a voice that sounds like what rocks being squeezed together. She starts to run down the street away from the house, but it chases after her, running much faster than she does in its large, bulky form. She hears it gaining on her, and soon its long, gangly arms are reaching out to wrap themselves around her like tourniquets. As it gets closer and closer, it calls out again in its wet voice. I see you. At this point, Abby started screaming as she woke up each morning, waking up all of her family in the process. Her parents would come into her bedroom and try to calm her down until she was able to tell them what had happened. They would tell her it was just a bad dream, but she knew that wasn't true. These nightmares were real. They were actually happening. She decided to do some research online about haunted houses and curses which took hours because her internet was so slow. Finally, she came across an article that mentioned the town called Eyeless that had been plagued by monsters for generations. They could only be kept at bay by a line of witches who were able to summon powerful magic spells to defeat them. The town had been destroyed by a fire in 1796, which killed off all of the witches except one, Abigail Wilkin. She read through this entire article feeling sick to her stomach because it described everything that she had been experiencing since childhood perfectly, including the nightmare about the monsters chasing her down a dark street with their arms outstretched calling out, I see you. The article went on to say, if you are experiencing any of these symptoms, you might be one of the descendants of Abby Wilkins, or one of the witches who protected Eyeless from 1760 1796. If this is true for you, then you must find and kill your ancestor in order to defeat the monsters once and for all. Abby shuddered at this thought as she climbed back into bed and turned off her lamp again, hoping not to have another nightmare tonight. 